Imagine the heart as a brilliant beacon, not merely as the physical organ we know, but as the vibrant epicenter of energy that pulses within each of us. This energy is not just about conventional love, it is the chakra, the wheel of light mentioned by the Orientals. Here we go beyond the love we feel for our loved ones. We are talking about something much deeper, a love that transcends boundaries, that is not limited to saying, I want the best for mine, but rather, I wish the best for all. When you open the floodgates of this love, it is not just for those close to you, but for everything and everyone. This love becomes a cosmic connection, a bridge to the infinite, a union with the fabric of the universe, with what was, is and always will be. When you tune into this love, something magical happens. You not only feel, but know. It's as if the universe begins to whisper its deepest secrets to you. In this state, intuition blossoms, and intuitive wisdom manifests because you are connected to the source of all knowledge. By opening your heart, you open yourself to a realm of elevated consciousness. Suddenly, you see the connections, the interconnections that weave the tapestry of reality. Because when you are at this level of love, you understand that everything is interconnected, that everything is one. This vision transcends the obvious and dives into the depths of being, leading to a new understanding. Evil, then, is nothing but the absence of this love. It is not a tangible force, but rather the gap left by the lack of love. When you fill this gap with love, evil dissipates, for love dispels all shadows. Certain groups perpetuate evil because they have lost touch with this primordial essence, with the very root of love. True love, the one that embraces everything and everyone in its radiant embrace, is also the antithesis of fear. When you allow yourself to dive into this expanded vision of yourself, you realize that there is nothing to fear. No matter what happens, no matter what challenges we face, there will always be something more. There will always be another experience lurking beyond the horizon. Each of us is a spark of consciousness within the vast fabric of the universe, immersed in the endless stream of being. Even in the face of the most challenging experiences, we remember that we are part of something much greater, something that encompasses all that has been and all that can still be. This awareness frees us from fear. When you are attuned to the true essence of your being, when you are aligned with what is right, consequences become mere shadows. It is not a matter of pondering what might happen, but rather of acting in alignment with your inner truth, with what you know to be right. The fundamental fear that haunts us is the fear of the unknown, often manifested as the fear of death itself. This fear has been exploited and manipulated, especially during crises like the pandemic, leaving many paralyzed by anxiety and apprehension about what may come. However, when you understand the fundamental truth of your existence, when you recognize that you are more than just a temporary body on this earthly journey, fear loses its power over you. You realize that you are eternal, that you are merely temporarily experiencing this physical form. Although you may avoid obvious dangers like crossing a busy street without looking, you do so not out of fear, but out of a prudent awareness of your own preservation. Therefore, true love knows no fear. It transcends the limitations of time and space, illuminating the path to a life lived with courage and authenticity. Understanding this allows us not to be intimidated by what others might think or say about us. It is a recognition that by living in alignment with our inner truth, we are connected to something much greater, something that illuminates our path and guides us to a full and meaningful life. Not fearing the social consequences of doing what you know is right is a matter of being so firmly rooted in your own truth that the opinions of others become irrelevant. When you align with what you believe, external criticisms and judgments lose the power to affect you. This is true freedom, to act in accordance with your values and convictions, regardless of external reactions. This idea deepens even further when we consider that death is not the end, but rather a transition, a change of perspective. It is like taking off a virtual reality headset and suddenly glimpsing the true nature of existence. This powerful metaphor illustrates how death represents a liberation for our more expansive self. By connecting with this deeper understanding, when you open your heart to this truth, 
Nothing can shake your conviction. You comprehend the vastness of what we truly are, and this is liberating. With this understanding, you do not bow to authorities that seek to impose their will upon you. Knowing that your truth is unshakable is true freedom. It is the freedom to connect with the totality of the universe, to understand your own essence in all its magnitude. When more and more people awaken to this expanded consciousness, we will see a true revolution, a revolution of the mind and spirit. Conformity is numbered in its days. We will not accept impositions on our freedom and will never compromise with it, always choosing to do what we know is right. And that is where the true revolution lies. The heart is the epicenter of all this. We are not just referring to the physical organ, but to the energetic center that pulses in harmony with the universe. Throughout the ages, the symbolism related to the heart has been a constant. Open heart, heart of stone, broken heart. All these expressions point to the importance of this vital center. Did you know that the heart is the largest generator of the electromagnetic field in the human body? When it opens, it even dominates the mind. That's why we often hear the phrase, what your head says versus what your heart says, because they are distinct voices, one coming from the external world and the other from the inner world. When the heart opens, everything changes. You change. And this is not just a theory, it is a lived experience. I know this because it happened to me and I can assure you that it changed my life forever. The best part is that everyone can access this transformation whenever they want, at any time. It is simply a matter of choice. So my message to you is simple. Free yourself from labels. Stop identifying with transient labels, because even your own name is just a small part of your journey. You are a vast consciousness, having a unique experience in this vast universe. When someone asks who you are, remember, you are everything that has been, is, and ever will be, living a temporary experience. It's fascinating, isn't it? When someone asks who we are, we usually respond with our name, profession, maybe a bit about our family history or past achievements, but that is only a tiny part of who we are. Who we really are goes far beyond these transient identities. So who am I? I am everything that has been, is, and ever will be experiencing this existence as a brief but deeply meaningful experience. And the same truth applies to every individual. We are points of attention of the same universal consciousness. That is why racism and all these artificial divisions are so absurd. They are not only undesirable, but also reveal a profound ignorance about the nature of reality and our true essence. I see people identifying as anti-racist, yet they are obsessed with issues of race. In the end, race is just a small part of the human experience, a brief passage in this journey. When we understand this fundamental truth and embrace our connection with each other, it is the end of the game for all these superficial divisions. This is the beginning of a new way of seeing the world and of seeing each other. By opening our hearts and connecting with this universal truth, we realize that the barriers that separate us are illusory. Our true nature is much grander and more interconnected than we could ever imagine. When we become truly free, united by the awareness that we are all parts of the same whole, experiencing life in infinitely diverse ways, we discover a new dimension of existence. Friends, on this path of expanded consciousness, of true understanding of who we are and our connection with each other, we must not only seek to understand, but also to act. The true revolution begins within ourselves, in the way we choose to see the world and relate to it. Let us free ourselves from self-imposed limitations, superficial divisions and prejudices. These barriers are often imposed on us by a society that values conformity and fear of the unknown. However, when we decide to let go of these limitations, we begin to realize the vastness of our potential. Let's remember our true essence, which goes beyond labels and appearances. Choosing love over fear is one of the most powerful decisions we can make. Love has the capacity to connect us deeply with others and with ourselves. It opens us to a deeper understanding and a fuller acceptance of who we are. When we choose understanding over judgment, we create a space where everyone can truly be seen and heard. Unity over division reminds us that despite our superficial differences, we are all connected by an invisible web of shared existence.
Each of us is a spark of light in an infinite universe, and together we can illuminate the world with compassion, empathy, and mutual understanding. Imagine a future where diversity is celebrated, where everyone can flourish in their fullness. A place where true freedom is a reality for all, where each individual can live their truth without fear of repression or judgment. I invite you to join me on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Let us open ourselves to the infinite potential that resides within us and embrace the power of our unity. When we unite in purpose and action, the world changes. Small acts of kindness, gestures of empathy, and moments of understanding have the power to create waves of change that spread far beyond our immediate reach. The world is waiting for us. It is waiting for us to awaken to our true nature, to let go of fear and distrust, and to embrace a new way of being. It is waiting for us to make a difference, to become beacons of light in times of darkness. Let's make it happen. Let's create together a future where love and understanding reign, where unity and diversity are seen as complementary forces that enrich the tapestry of life. The revolution we seek is neither violent nor forced. It is a revolution of consciousness, an internal transformation that is reflected externally. It begins with the decision to live according to our deepest values and to act with integrity. And this change starts now in every choice we make, in every interaction we have, in every thought we cultivate. So, on this path of discovery and growth, let us commit to being the best version of ourselves. Let us strive to be examples of love and understanding in a world that often forgets the importance of these qualities. Let us build together a reality where everyone can feel safe, loved, and free to be who they truly are. The journey is long and sometimes challenging, but the reward is immeasurable. It is the realization of a world where true freedom and true unity are not just ideals, but lived realities. Let's together make it happen. I hope you found inspiration in this video about love, self-knowledge and unity. If you enjoyed the content and wish to continue exploring themes of personal growth and spirituality, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Leave your comment below sharing your reflections and experiences. We are here to build together a space of understanding, connection and growth. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.